Hey friends, Paloma here and welcome to my craft room. Today I'm coming at you with a Timu haul. I have several Timu goodies. I know it's Temu, but I kind of like Timu, so I think I'm just going to stick with that. I have several goodies and I just wanted to share with you. So it is a late summer night. The kiddos are in bed and I thought this would be the perfect time to just come through my craft space and haul these goodies. Also, I have a review to give you and a quick little DIY idea. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. I did purchase three, not big items, but not tiny items. And in each one of the packages, I got a Timu bag. So that's cool. They're nice big bags. I can use these for storage because of course, I'm not gonna just throw them away. And we're just gonna hold on to those. We're gonna start off with the small stuff. I have a roll of washi here. It was $1.43. It is the imprint time theme. So this is going to be a roll of unraveling clear plastic stickers. Of course, I will do overlays just so y'all can get a better look at these goodies. Check these out. These are absolutely adorable. Now, I can't tell you whether or not another pack of stickers that I ordered is exactly the same, so we're gonna find out throughout this video, but these are gorgeous wax seal themed stickers on this clear roll and they are absolutely adorable. I love the clarity of each image. I love the variety that they give you. And if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I have a thrifted vintage, vintage themed room and I have my wax seals stored in, cigar, in a cigar box and other goodies. Feel free to check out my craft room organization video. There's a lot of information for newbie organizers who kind of get overwhelmed with organizing. It's a lot of information on understanding how functional systems work and it applies to pretty much any system in your entire life, not just your craft space. But $1.43, I feel like that is a lot of product. So many stickers and I absolutely love them. I have no regrets. So what it does look like though is that you have to cut them out and whatever you cut out, you're gonna have to deal with as far as being leftover scraps. So it'd probably be best to kind of do these in layered themes so you could cut out uh, multiples and just kind of layer them on and not have to worry about keeping these little scrap pieces anywhere because of course it's all on one roll or you could peel it up and cut it but i kind of feel like that's still going to cause some kind of complication so yeah that or you could cut it in sections and put them in a little envelope or a little storage system so whatever there's options a dollar 43 though that is fantastic quality and i love that all right let's look at some gorgeous transparent stickers this one is the your desk theme it doesn't say the quantity on here, but there, this one was $1.64. Guys, these are absolutely stunning. I'm a huge book lover. I love old books. And the vibe on these is just adorable. Let's see if I can elevate this. Okay, yeah, you can see it now. So the vibe on these is just adorable. I absolutely love the imagery of all of the little books and the different little layouts and different scenes. Of course, I'll do an overlay still so y'all can get a clear image or a clear view of all of them. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh. 
beautiful little seams. Especially perfect when you need just a moody little layout. You don't have much to say. You just want to take up a lot of the page and do a little journaling. These are stunning. I am so happy with this. And what did I say? A dollar and change? A dollar 64. Worth every penny. The next set of transparent stickers that we have are the Letters from the Past. These were $1.99 and it looks like it's however many pieces are here, but this looks like a lot more than this. So there's probably duplicates. So all of these are like layered kind of letter themed. So there are duplicates because that's the same one as that. Yeah, there's definitely duplicates in here. Uh-oh. We have one that peeled up on the bottom. It's just a cute little lamp. Another gorgeous lamp. Vintage typewriter that looks like my typecast pink typewriter. There's two of those. There's this one here. There's another one. Now check this one out. Well, hold on. First, we have this little chess piece. And <laughs> they're so they're so slidey. This little chess piece. Kind of like a written situation here with the wax seal on it. Adorable. Check this one out. This is gorgeous. It's like an apothecary kind of bookshelf. It's got stamps on it. This like belongs in a vintage craft room. There's two of those and you can put them side by side and create like a little big shelf situation. How freaking cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. We have this one with some torn book pages. This one looks like a ruler and a fountain pen. A different typewriter. Calendar. This bottle. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This one has books in a bag some bundled books, another journaling box. Here we have some more page layering, like torn page with some floral little layers on there. This one is beautiful with this little gold frame. Look at these cute little tags. Oh my gosh, for $2, I am not mad at all. Is that what it was? A dollar? Yeah, $1.99. Another typewriter. That's a repeat. Okay, so that is pretty much it for these. I think they are gorgeous stickers. Great quality. I'm definitely not mad at these. They are all going to go into my dresser with my vintage style stickers.
Next, we have a pack of wax seal themed stickers. So these are the ones that I wasn't sure might be similar to the roll of tape stickers that I was able to find. So there's, oh, that's how many it is. I just saw it now up here in the side, duh. 40 pieces <laughs> for $2, $1.99. And then here's the little summary on the back. Okay, so I made us a fun little board here that I can put this stuff onto and make less of a glare kind of situation. It, this reminds me of eggs, which is so cute. It's basically the little wax balls going into the melter. Then we have the wax spoon just kind of pouring out the hot wax. It's giving you different seal designs. Look at this jar with the wax in it next to a cute little candle. And these look to be repeats also, just in case I didn't make that clear. There's 40 pieces, but they are repeats. So just like you see there. Cute little tags. I'm in love with these. I can't, I just can't. They are adorable. And then it has an R, which my hubby's name is Ryan. These jars, I think it was the jars that did it for me. Just seeing how beautiful they are makes me want to take my wax uh, bits and make them and put them into jars instead of my cigar box. But then it's not practical because you can't stack it and it would look cute, but I would probably never want to reach for them because it would have to be something that I would shuffle around to get to. But look at that, the box with the little wax seals. Oh my gosh, fountain pen and some writing. We have another little wax seal with a tag on it or a stamp thing. That's the same as that one. I have absolutely no regrets, none. Look at that with the little bits in there. These are amazing. The quality on them, I feel like is fantastic. The images are so clear. There's such a great variety. And even if you have duplicates, it doesn't even matter because you can do so much with them or so little, like you can keep it so simple, but who wouldn't want two of those, you know? This one even shows the actual plate more of the little bits melting. Which one is this? This is that. Yeah. This is that one, that one, that one, and uh, I don't know, that one. So for $2, you will not regret it. These are fantastic. The quality is amazing. These are the letters from the past. Letters for the from the past, I believe is the typewriter. And then this one is the time imprint. Not sure, but it's amazing. It's an amazing set. Next, we have the Warm Cabin, which is another kind of scene vibe. They are nice big stickers with a ton of adorable layers. This one was $1.79. It says Fireplace Flare. And these are gorgeous. Look at that. What I love about it is that it's actually not ridiculous. Like the layering is not ridiculous. The scenes are not ridiculous. Like I would want to live in this. To me, that is a whole vibe. I absolutely love it. Look at the copper kettle. Oh my gosh. The attention to detail here is gorgeous. 
that is stunning. A whole little scene already made up for you in your journaling. You can definitely have a whole vibe. And they're all different. Look at that. All different little images. And you can't go wrong with any of them. That is gorgeous. Like that's literally the only thing I can say is that they are gorgeous. All right, so the last pack of stickers here is the desk, 10 pieces, again, $1.98. These are a little bit smaller of, the, of a scene, but still so much gorgeous detail, so many different layers. These do have repeats. So each one of these, it has its pair. So there's two of each of these stickers for these scenes. $1.98 guys, beautiful. Next, I got a pack of these tags. It's very simple, self-explanatory. They are nice, large tags. They were $3.48. It has 30 pieces, and they are a great size. It looks like they are four and three quarters. And these are gonna be for our inventory for our old and board booth because we like to do a lot of t-shirts and candles and fun big pieces. And a lot of the times we need more space to write on. So these are gonna make great tags. I'm probably going to laminate them so that we can keep the plastic tag because when we make a sale, we take the tag and that's how we keep track of our, uh, our items sold. So I think I'm gonna probably do that and that will give us a nice surface to work with that we can reuse these tags. So these are $3.48 and I just got them for our booth. Now, I didn't really feel like I needed to share this because I'm not sure if it's any kind of particular special deal, but I have a little DIY project that I just kind of threw together to keep these things corralled because they kept falling over and like rolling all over the place. Well, I got a 50 piece coaster set, which is over here and I needed something to put them in so that when I sell them at the booth, they are nice and protected, don't get dirty and stuff like that. So the pack of, I don't know how many this is, this is 100 pieces of the bags and the boards. You put your coasters on the boards and then you put them into the bag and that's how you sell them. Uh, it was $8.98 and the 50 piece coasters was $7.97. Well, they have these, right, available, but funny enough, I wanted to share this little DIY with you guys because I threw it together super quick just to kind of corral all of these coasters and it's using the actual cups from, or the cup boxes from my 20 ounce skinny tumblers. <laughs> and I thought it was a great idea. So I just took one of the boxes and just wrapped it up in washi tape because of course we have 900 rolls of washi tape it's pretty self-explanatory. I literally just took the box and just cut a bigger gap up top. It's only about a one inch size cut and that gives you plenty of room to pull them out and refill them or put them back if you wind up not using them for whatever reason. So yeah, I thought that was a fun little DIY 
for your storage and then you can decorate it to coordinate with whatever your vibe is. So I actually got these because I wanted to do the vintage Pyrex <laughs> logos, or not logos, but the vintage Pyrex print on the coasters for myself. And then I figured I'm pretty sure if I want them, other people want them. So I will just make a few and throw them in the booth. So I do have two boxes. I have the fat coasters and then the skinnier coasters. So yeah, I hope you find that interesting. And if you want to use the idea, let me know in the comments just to share how excited you are for such a simple solution. So there is that fun little DIY. Sticking to sublimation, I wanted to give you guys a super quick review. So I did order this off of Timu also, and it is the tape dispenser. And before I got to painting it and doing all that to make it match my craft room, I wanted to use it to make sure that it's something that I wanted to go through the time to spray paint, right? Because right now it works amazing. And I paid $6.38. I wrote it on the inside. So whenever I was ready to do this review, I could do it. So this is an amazing little gadget. I could not be more excited by it. So on here, you can have up to four rolls of tape. I put three rolls and I had uh, this empty one just to kind of keep them in line because without it, they kind of go, you know, wiggle around. So I put this empty one on here, but you can do four rolls. On here, I want to put another empty one and just use it and just leave it on here so that this one doesn't roll around. But this gadget is magical. When you are sublimating, it is so helpful. So you have this wheel that you load the tape onto from the underside. So you stick it to one of these little things and then you spin this wheel and it brings the tape from underneath this wheel down the bottom and it rolls it up the top. Now the reason it's so great is because as it rolls it up, it's cutting them for you in these little pieces. And that's great because on this side, you have the roll of tape that you can just pull, pull, stretch, and cut. And then that could be your long one to go down the seam of your tumbler or whatever it is you need. But this is fantastic. No complaints. I thought I was risking it at $6 and change. Get it. Get it at the $12. Get it at whatever because the peace of mind that this little thing gives you is priceless it has a little it has a little pocket here for whatever reason and it has this little plate that moves so you can load and unload your tape super easy look at that that's all it takes and then that just holds it in place i do suggest keeping an empty one on the back end here or on the front end whatever you want and it will help keep this one little roll just straight if it bothers you that it wiggles i'm, I'm i guess i'm just weird but I only loaded three because I wasn't I wasn't sure how it worked. So I loaded three and then I couldn't imagine loading a fourth one and then just having them all off <laughs> off track with linked. So I just stuck with the three and I'll stick with the three until they're out and then I'll refill with four. And then I won't have this little wiggle problem. But I do suggest keeping some of these empty rolls on hand. But guys, this thing fantastic hands down five stars it works it is so convenient to use and i do wish they had like a gray color or had some like tim holtz kind of vibes with it but we can diy that i'll do it on my own i love this it's fantastic get it i found this pack of book stamps and they were a dollar 52 and i figured i buy stamps at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five, and it's usually if one of them, not one of them, but if a few of them really catch my eye and I feel like I can get quite a bit of use out of a few of them on in the pack. If not, I leave it. But this is a gorgeous little book stack set. I love it. I think it's adorable. There's eleven pieces on here. And aren't they just so sweet? 
And if you're an audiobook lover or a book lover or a journaler, you can probably vibe with all of these. So I did pick that up. I wanted a pack of Strictly Functional Bullet Journal Style Stamps. So this pack, this whole pack was $2.54. It has a variety of functional, useful, bullet journal style stamps. And if you saw my Dollar Tree planner bag or builder planner bag video, then you could see how easy it is for us to carry the needed supplies to be able to bullet journal on the go using just Dollar Tree supplies. So this is what it looks like. How fantastic is that for two, when I say 254, 250 something? These are gorgeous, functional stamps. That's all you need. You don't need much more than that. You have your menu, you have your kind of like budget information here, your sleep tracker, some kind of gauge tracker thing. Uh, you have your monthly calendar, daily, hourly, boxes you have so much you even have a grid a grid down at the bottom that is fantastic i think that is a great little variety for two dollars and change so it's a great start to build up for your bullet journaling this one i just got out of necessity my boys take art and uh, they all draw a lot this pack was $1.34, and it basically just has these little extend, ex, handle extenders. This one is a five piece, and it was $1.34. And all it is, is these little wood handles with these little metal tips. And you use that metal tip when you have a small pencil that you want to extend the handle on to make it easier to hold when drawing. So all you do is put that on and then you pull up this little thing to hold it nice and tight. And then you have this that can rest against your hand because you have a longer pencil. So without it, it would be kind of hard to hold and balance it because it wouldn't have anything really to press up against your hand. But with this, you're extending that handle so you have that pressure that you can apply to your pencil longer. So I did go ahead and pick up one, or I picked up a pack of five because I have four boys and I will keep one for myself because most likely, probably half of them will be lost. Now I came across these and I was very intrigued. I saw so many different varieties, so many different packs, and I just had to try them because I like to make journaling bags, planner bags, whatever for on the go. When you have to event plan, I'm a huge drawer. So when we're creating events and games and all of that stuff, I literally draw out the games and I like to coordinate the colors and so on. So I saw these, first I saw them in singles. So this one was $2.24, and it is this pen casing, but they come with all of these little containers, which look extremely familiar. They actually look like my little pods that I use to hold my ink blending <laughs> sponges on the back of my utensil board. Again, check my craft room tour that is in there but it's literally those little containers. So that's pretty cool. But it's this pen casing with all of these tips and they're called forever pens or forever pencils. And you change the tip out for your color. Well, each one of these has a variety of colors in it. You see that? Just all little threaded little ends and you would put that in there but anyway so i saw that one picked it up right because i was like oh black it matches all of my planner stuff plus i got a black bag off of timu and 
y'all I am I'm anyway we'll get there so I saw this one this one was 358 and this one came with four color handles which matches all of our planner themes and two bigger boxes with the heads in it or the leads in it I guess for starters, the handles are very nice quality. They have these huge clips, which are fantastic for clipping onto the side of a book or a bag. Very, very durable looking. Now, I'm not a huge purple girl, but this one is just lavendery enough that I'm okay with it. All right, so I'm not sure what these little gaps are here. Maybe to load them, I don't know. So let's see what we're doing. So this one's already loaded. I'm gonna open it up and see what's happening. What's in there? Oh, that's an eraser. What? Okay, so I guess you store your eraser in there and you have your pencil tip on there oh my gosh I need a piece of paper okay so we have this let's scoot this way and this one is silver so we'll oh so it just writes like a pencil it doesn't even feel like a waxy type situation and then you unthread it and you just change your tip oh my gosh so you thread it in there but I kind of feel like that might be wasteful because, but it's so hard, it's not waxy. So we have red. Okay, I could definitely see the benefits of this whenever I am drawing out my games and my ideas because it takes me this long to decide on a color, right? So if I just have red, green, orange, yellow, whatever. Oh my goodness, I think I like this. So I would not use these artistically for pigment because I feel like they don't have a lot of pigment. Maybe whatever it is, keeping them so hard and solid is more of a lead type thing. But they work and they are hard, hard. So these aren't just gonna collapse on you. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually very impressed. So we have blue. Or no, I think that's, what is that? That's like brown. I don't know what that is. What color is this? Seems questionable to me. This one is mystery. Oh, wow, spelled that wrong. So that's like a purpley, like a deep purpley kind of color. And I feel like they're not straight, but then whenever I pull, like, step back and look at them, they, they are. So they're very well threaded. I like it. I like it. The handle is nice and big. I feel like it is absolutely fully functional. So let's take our eraser. How do we use this? Do we... Nope. Nope. I guess you just use it. Yeah, it doesn't erase too great. So that's not a perk. But I didn't even know it came with an eraser. So I guess if in the case you need it, I mean, it's there. But it's not necessary. I can tell you that much. Um, I would consider it to be more like a colored pencil and not try to be able to erase it. But look at this handle. This little handle is super durable. It's big, very strong. And this one came with the white handle, the black handle, brown, and purple, lavender, whatever. So many different colors. I love this. I actually really like it. I'm surprised. I was kind of confused at first whenever I was looking it up. And then I was kind of like, well, how convenient is that gonna be? to have to sit there and change the lid, but it literally takes no time. While you're talking to somebody, you can literally just change them out and do what you're doing. So if you're a multitasker, 
no problem. If you're a journaler, no problem. And then if you buy multiple little handles, definitely not a problem because you can just set them up as you journal. So what was that, like five something, five dollars and change? It's totally worth it, I feel like. If you're a creative doer, if not, don't worry about it. Okay, friends, so now we're moving on to some bigger items. This one came with some kind of instruction manual. It is a color pencil user manual, yada, yada, yada. So this one was $17.33. And it is 120 oily pencils, whatever that means. Why are they oily? I don't know. But they had really awesome reviews. And the boys took my huge box of Crayola matte pencils, colored pencils, and I never got them back. So I got myself a new set and already told them that they are not allowed to touch them. <laughs> For starters, I love this little case i think it's adorable i might change it out though because i actually love these flat box storages or storage boxes from daiso and this is where i store my personal colored things and i bought a few more that i might be able to fit these into and the only reason i say that is because these are wood and it goes with my vibe so i might be changing them out and i might just give the plastic container to boogie because he loves boxes and storage things basically just to load up and hide all of his junk so these are the colors that we have so many options look at that very pretty so many different colors we have four of these little plastic sheets. I can tell you that they look very nice. They look very nice. They're all sharpened. They're all even, very pretty. And then we have these two here. That's so nice, I love them. So I think what I'll do is I'll just pick a few colors and we will just do some quick swatches just to see how vibrant the colors are. But look at that. I like them a lot. Okay, so yeah, let's just pick a few colors. What are we thinking? Is this gonna beat out our <laughs> pencils? Okay, so I'm just gonna grab one here. I'll grab a dark and I'll grab a light color, or I guess not necessarily a light color, but just like opposite ends. So this one is green. Oh my gosh, that was hardly any, <gasps> I should have gotten some of these for the boys. Oh my gosh, Adam is gonna love, look at that, that is no pressure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's choose a really light one. You guys, uh, this is like very light, light pressure. Okay, I'm okay. We're gonna try another light one. These are beautiful. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Sweet. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Someone's saying blend it. Okay, so let's take this blue one and go into this green. Seamless. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's that one. Let's make it quick. It's already a long video. So we're going to move from opposite ends on this. Oh, Y'all, Adam is going to love these. Oh man, I might have to get another one. These blow those Crayola matte pencils out the water. <laughs> and I just bought them one time because I found them on like an app, uh, an, a, uh, after school clearance or something. I don't even remember. Like when all the school supplies that's left over goes on clearance, that's when I found them. Look at that. This is little bit of pressure. So could you imagine using a lot of pressure how pretty it would be? It would be like a solid color. This is gorgeous
man, I am not complaining. I think I'll show them to the boys and see if they want some. If they do, I'll get them their own set. Uh-oh, are we missing one? Do I have to count them? Look at that. I got one right here missing. Oh, no. I'm going to have to message them. Be like, bruh. Let's see how dark this black can get. Oh, my gosh. Y'all. Let's try the gold. This is so... That looks like gold. All right, all right, all right. How did you used to color when you were young? When I would color, I would color my images and then I would go around the edges. I wanted to see if you could see the white. It's the same as the paper. But I would color my, my images and then I would go around the edge with black. And then anything that wasn't a complete image, I would complete it out <laughs> with that black. So if it was like a flower that, cause you know how sometimes they don't complete the image, right? So they'd be, be a flower right here, right here. And then it would like cut off. I would go and I would, <laughs> I would complete whatever that image was. I don't know. I'm, I might've been traumatized as a child for some reason and just like used creativity to get through life. So yeah, there's that. Love all of this, y'all. Love it all. So far, like not one has been annoying. All right, let's jump. Oh, there it is. I wasn't missing one. It just popped out. All right, so if you like to color, you like to sit down with your kiddos, make them color. These are gorgeous. Look at that. This is, and this is with very little pressure. You put some pressure behind it, you know you're gonna have a gorgeous image. This is me just kind of going over with slight pressure. Y'all, I am not mad. I feel like this was worth every penny. Y'all, uh, so I have some other colored pencils. Let me grab them. So in my organization system, you guys saw that I have a nifty little roll top desk organizer sitting here on my workbench. And it, these are my random pencils. These were the ones that the boys were supposed to use. And I came into my office and then my big box was gone and I was like, ah, oh, screw it. And then I was like, bring them back when you're done. And they were like, okay. Yeah, that never happened. So these are Prang. These are pretty too. Never realized that. Prang pencils. And these are the ones that we found at Dollar Tree. These are the Fine Touch. Nah, I don't like this one too much. Sounds dry. Takes a little bit more. And then... Crayola. Is this Crayola? This is Scholastic. Ooh, Scholastic was kind of smooth, but not as pigmented. That takes more. All right, all right. And then we have nothing. These are a lot of praying, so I must have unloaded my praying pencils into this whenever I found them at Dollar Tree for $1.25, because that was magical. Yeah, these are all praying. And so these are the Crayola Twistables, which are so cute. I got these for Boogie. Takes a little bit more pressure, but still cute. But yeah, y'all, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at 120 gorgeous oil pencils because that's like very light pressure. And you can see it blended well. Nice, solid color. I am not mad. Look at it. Look at those swatches, how coyotes. I love it. 
Okay, so some time ago, I got some Jeep accessories from Timu, but I wanted another kind of bulky bag just to kind of, you know, change my vibe. And I wanted to just also see what the Timu bags were like, y'all. So I actually got two. I ordered one and it was on sale for $15. And then I ordered a second one because it was on a lightning deal for $4.88. And I didn't know what either one of them was going to look like in person. But y'all, I am not mad. So this is the one that was $14 and change. It is this Wexer whatever um, black bag. The quality for starters, whatever this is, is so soft. I don't know what this is. It looks like leather. It's look, it looks like leather. I don't even know what to say. It looks like leather. It's very soft and the quality is very nice. So it has this front pocket. I loved this little clip situation. It's stitched in there very nicely. It's a thick piece of material. It's a very thick hook. And then under this flap here, you see this looks, this looks like leather. I don't know, maybe just for this part of the flap because it's gonna have to move a lot, I don't know. But these magnets are durable, very sturdy, and really good quality magnets. The zippers are not horrible. They don't sound like a coach zipper, but you know, they're not horrible. So you have this front pocket here, nice and deep and big, and the hardware is substantial. Look at that, I mean, it's a nice, big, hardy zipper. Then you have your front pocket here. Very nice size. I thought of this as like a planner bag. So I'm gonna keep my black purse for all of my personal stuff. But I wanted this to be my planner bag on the go kind of, um, not journaling, but like all my to-do stuff bag or like thrift day bag or something like that. On the inside, you have this pocket pouch situation. Then you have the inside of the actual bag. You have a back zipper. Now the back inside zipper is kind of, you know, just a little cheapy standard funky zipper. But the overall quality of this bag is pretty awesome. It was $14.99. Look at this strap. This strap is not a flimsy little thin anything. Like this is a nice size, thick little strap. And it is adjustable. The hardware is very nice and it adjusts very easily, it's very smooth. So that is exciting to me because I'm a crossbody girl. I gotta be able to throw it over my shoulder, but it also has this nice little carry handle for you to carry it like that. So if you wanna just be able to put it in somewhere and then pull it out, you have that option as well. The only thing that I don't really like is that the strap on the outside, you can't take it off. So it's gonna have this whole thing hanging, but I feel like it's fine, like we'll all survive, right? And then on the back, we have another very nice size hardy zipper with another pouch. So this is really nice. This is really nice for $15, and you can create a gorgeous planner bag out of this, and the whole material situation, I don't know, It, uh, it's really, good quality it's like an actual bag not one of those little thin flimsy fall apart bags that were kind of like oh yeah that's cute but also it'll fall to pieces in five days so I love that now let's take a look at the brown one together and they actually come with their own little dust bag which I won't keep because I'm not afraid of dust looks like this oh my gosh it is so pretty y'all it is so pretty i really like this for four dollars are you kidding me it is very nice guys do you see this look at this fabric It's got an air bubble in there because the black one did, but look at it. Look how easy it moves. It's so soft, I'm telling you. So we have the same little flap here. 
the same magnetic button closure or magnetic closure. The zippers, pocket with the filler, zipper, Y'all, I love this bag. I love it. So I have stuck to thrifted bags for a very long time. I love to uh, salvage vintage thrifted or vintage leather bags and stuff like that from Goodwill whenever I'm out shopping. If it's a gorgeous little leather bag kind of crossbody situation, I will absolutely pick it up and just add it to my collection because they're like four or five bucks which you cannot beat that. That is well worth the leather material. But these are not a regret. I love this. It is very nice quality, has a nice big strap, no regrets. Adjusting the strap is super smooth and the strap itself is soft. It's a soft, I don't know, material. Just, you don't want to snag something like this, though. That would be my only concern because it will fray, you know. But aside from that, y'all, this is a nice bag. And you could also find you a cool strap if you wanted to and just, like, snip this off. And then replace it with a, a different strap that has the little clips that you can clamp it on there and change it out. But no regrets, guys. No regrets. Okay, friends, so that is it for my Timu haul. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite find was or what are some of the things that you keep an eye out for on Timu. Share this video with anybody that you think would enjoy it. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell on your way out to be notified of new videos whenever I post. I do thrift hauls. I do grocery stuff. I do Azure Standard hauls, canning content, different things like that. A lot of organization and fun stuff. You can also follow me on my Instagram at the Bates House. Hashtag Bates House pretty much anything and we will be there. But for now, guys, that is it for this one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.